Well, good afternoon. Here we are. I'm going to show you how to uh, throw a pot with different colored stripes built right into the clay body. We're going to start by adding a contrasting colored clay right to your lump of clay that you're about ready to start centering. Now I took a big piece and put it on the bottom and a smaller piece and put it up top opposite. Uh, so that I'll have more stripage and a little bit bolder stripage at the bottom and it'll kind of fade towards the top. Also by putting the, uh, the colored clay just on the outside of my clay body, that means that my stripes are only going to show on the outside of my pot. Uh, so the inside is going to be all white and the outside is going to have these nice red colored stripes on them. After getting the clay nicely centered and we open it up, uh, that's the opening right there. Now we start pulling up the, uh, the walls and you'll see the stripes start to appear. Yeah, see how they twist right around? Because the clay body actually twists as you're throwing. Uh, so you get yourself, uh, get your wall thicknesses where you want them. You don't necessarily have to finish the shape of your pot right now because you're going to do that from the inside of the pot. So you throw, throw, throw until you get your wall thickness where you want it. Yeah, that's uh, about what I want as far as wall thickness goes. So I'm not going to uh, to do any more work on the outside. So I'm going to take a really a thin metal rib and just scrape off all the uh, the slip uh, from the outside of my pot. You can see how that brings out the contrast in the color between the white clay and the red clay. You know, it may take uh, a scraping or two to get it all and there may be some occasions where you want to leave some of that slip on the outside to give the colors a more feathered look. It's all in you know, what you want to see, what you want to achieve with your pot. So now with the same metal rib, I work the inside of the pot to bring the, uh, the wall body out uh, so I can get the final diameter I want. And what we're going to have uh, in the end still is just, just a high walled uh, bowl but using the rib to work from the inside it keeps your your walls stable it, it doesn't have the tendency to allow the top to flare like so many times you know when you're trying to throw that bowl and you're pulling up and you're pulling out and next thing you know your bowl's too wide and it's fallen over uh, this really helps support your walls a lot better and it gives you a nice rounded finish because you work that rib all the way down into the center of the bowl. So you just have this wonderfully smooth uh, contour on the inside of your bowl. Now from here, I just keep on working it until, uh, until I'm happy with it. Uh, you'll usually get a little bit of a dimple on the very bottom on the inside of your bowl as you uh, finish with the rib. So. A touch of the finger will clear that up. And then it's just a matter of finishing your uh, your edge. I like to use a, a piece of wet chamois type leather, real soft leather. Uh, and it just smooths the edge of that bowl right out. And there I'm pretty much done, other than maybe I see a couple little things I might want to clean up here. But uh, this is a finished pot. Thanks for watching.